Hi, thank you very much for inviting me to be part of this Maths is More event. What is mathematics? That's a big question. So let me see if I can get at it by asking another question. Why do I need to know this stuff? Now, if you teach mathematics, this is a familiar question that our students ask. It's also an honest question, which deserves better answers than the ones we've been giving, which is usually some version of because you need to know it later. That answer is unsatisfying and it may not even be true. You see, the utilitarian view of mathematics is an impoverished view of it. Math is more than just practical skills. You see, if you think of math as just some set of procedures to learn or memorize, then computers well and already have made those skills unnecessary. You might say learning math is necessary for careers, but in fact, much of the math that's used in today's hottest jobs didn't exist 20 years ago. And so if we focus attention solely on practical skills, we'll completely miss the broader benefits of a math education. Math is not just about doing numerical calculations. Just like writing is not just about stringing sentences together and history is not just about reciting events and dates and music is not just about performing notes on a page. You see, artificial intelligence can already do all these things. But even if you wanna get practical, employers don't hire a math student because they know how to factor a quadratic formula. Often they don't even need to know how to do that for the job. They hire mathematical thinkers because they know how to think, to reason, to adapt ideas, to solve problems that they've never seen before. In other words, people who learn mathematics properly build human virtues like persistence and curiosity and imagination and an ability to think clearly. And these virtues carry over to any profession, no matter what you do. And these virtues are built by attending to basic human desires because math is after all a human endeavor. So math should feel human in the way that it addresses our humanity. For instance, we all love to play. Think about how we play a game. Mathematical play builds in us virtues like hopefulness. When you sit with a puzzle long enough, you are exercising hope that you're eventually gonna solve it. You build up perseverance, just as playing sports make us stronger for the next game, playing with mathematical ideas having the space and time to tinker with mathematics makes us more fit to solve the next problem, even if we don't solve the current one. Now, there are many other virtues built by the study of mathematics that I could talk about, right? Inventiveness, resourcefulness, habits of generalization, and expectation of enchantment. But what is it that motivates people to study math, right? Math is, after all, it can be a difficult subject to, to master. But you see, human beings do many difficult things, right? We spend years learning to play the piano or mastering a sport like tennis. And just like my little toddler, each of us spends years learning our first language. But our first reaction to music, sport, or language isn't usually saying, well, this stuff's hard, or I'm not a language person, right? Each of us, of each of music, sport, and language require practice with basic skills like playing scales, improving our forehand, or saying particular words. This is true. We do have to practice basic skills, but the practice required to learn those skills isn't what motivates people to learn. Inspiration is what motivates us, right? Think, think about a beautiful painting, how you stand in awe and reflect. Properly taught, mathematics should have the same effect on us. So what is mathematics? Well, I would say mathematics is beautiful. It's a triumph of the human mind in the ways that it can explain phenomena of the real world, but also intrinsically in the ways that it helps us to reason and think and access certain kinds of truths that aren't obvious at first glance. And if you ask many professional mathematicians why they do mathematics, most would say because it's beautiful. Mathematics is a search for truth, of seeing the unseen structures of the world that power search engines or that smartphone in your pocket. I really like to say math is the ability to see the unseen. You're getting training in how to think and to reason and to discern structures that you might not have seen, with, that the untrained eye may not see. 
Math is often done in community, right? Look at any job that requires mathematics. These people are collaborating, working in groups to solve problems, brainstorming, throwing out far-fetched ideas uh, to, to talk about, even if they seem implausible, right? Without any shame or fear of being judged, this is the way mathematics is done. And so how do we get our mathematics classrooms to feel the same way, a place of community, a place where people have a desire to seek out truth and don't feel afraid to share their ideas. This is what math is, right? This is what makes math inspiring to learn, compelling to learn. Math is beautiful. Math is a search for seeing the unseen structures of the world. And so we have to ask ourselves, why do we often strip all the human aspects of mathematics, what makes math interesting and inspiring, why do we strip those things out of the math classroom? We have to think about how we inspire our students to learn so that they will be willing to practice, they will be willing to learn those extra skills. See, math is more than just practical skills. skills. Right? Practical skills can easily be outdated, especially in the age of computation. We don't need better human calculators. We need thinkers, people who have the courage to try to solve problems they've never seen before, who are inspired by beauty, and who will go through all lengths to figure out what's really true. We need people who have a vision of mathematics as something that we do that enables greater human flourishing. Thank you very much.